here what's good in the hoodie you already know what time it is your butt this week back again with another video and i apologize <clears throat> i apologize sound like very God. <clears throat> i apologize sound like very echoing here bro it's uh my old gaming room so it ain't really nothing in here but uh as you can see by the title uh the first time I ever got bullied by some females. That's that's crazy. But um, we're going to start from third grade. Third grade. Yeah. We're going to start from third grade. It was in third grade, right? She about some years, like, you know, years, years ago. You know me, quiet kid, really don't do nothing. You know, doing work, laughing at other people. You know, doing their shenanigans and things of, you know, that nature. Damn, I sound like dude. Everything going good, you know, having a good day, you chilling, you know, go to lunch, you know, all that type of third grade activities, man, all that third grade activity. But, you know, one random morning, I don't even know when did it start, but it just started randomly. I don't know, like, none of these people got my class, but I'm going to call them the Jackson family. So the Jackson family. So the Jackson family don't have my class. I think one of them... One of them was above me and one of them was below me. So I think one of them was in like fourth grade, one of them was in second. No, because I went to high school with her. So one of them was in third grade with me and, a, and her sister was like in the second grade, right? And, you know, at the time, bro, I ain't never been in a fight, never started none with nobody. So, you know, I was a square. You feel me? I was a square. I knew her brothers and shit was like that in like the fifth grade. So, you know, fifth grade, some some big tall ass people one little morning i think it was coming from i think it was coming from breakfast or something like that so coming through breakfast you got to go through like you know the gym you know all that type of stuff so to get to class you got to i mean when you're coming from breakfast you got to go through the gym and when you go through the gym then you that's when you want like the the you know like the main hallways the what is it called the um lab hallways and shit like that or whatever and the kindergarten kindergarten hallways or whatever the first time i was by myself and i heard them behind me or whatever they were just like you know cracking and shit like that cracking you know cracking find me i ain't gonna lie to you like like i say bro i just kept walking you know going to my class with the wool bro like you know i was shit i was chilling you feel me nigga like that was my first time ever getting bullied so what the fuck you want me to do swing or swing on some females uh like i say the first time i walked for uh lunch or whatever i mean breakfast or whatever and they just clown they clowning me clowning by my shoes at the time bro you feel me no updated shoes you know feel me nikes old nikes you feel me tight shit you know hand me down you feel me but shit life was good back then but yeah you know old shit crack on my clothes you know all the tight shit you feel me just calling me stank no i wasn't stank bro i'm gonna wash my clothes every friday but yeah so I just joning, and joning, and joning, and joning, and cracking, cracking, cracking. So I'm just walking through, you know, just walking through the hallway, walking through the hallway, whatever. And, you know, I get to my class, I sit down, and it's like the first time it hit me, it's like, what the hell? What the hell just happened? Like two females just walked up to me and just, just start cracking on me. And I'm like, what the fuck? And, you know, teeth was messed up, all that type of shit, bro. So shit, teeth still messed up, but fuck it, we in the game now. I get home, I get home, I probably like that same day, and my little and my little brother like, I knew a lot to my little brother like small onto my real small and, but bro on go, like bro on go. So we would like to we used to do a lot of fighting and shit in the like streets, you know, fighting neighbors and shit, playing with neighbors and shit like that. So you know how they get been a goddamn boy or whatever. I had to tell him about all like damn bro, these females picking on me and shit, you know, all types of crazy ass shit. And he was like Oh, you want me to fight them? I was like, nah, little bro. You know, I'm just telling you, you know, just telling you a crazy ass little story. I don't think it's gonna happen no more. I don't think it's gonna happen no more. So, uh, leaving, leaving lunch again. I mean, breakfast again. Leaving breakfast again. So they behind me just cracking, cracking, and cracking, cracking. I'm like, damn, bro. So I think I had like turned around and said something to them, and they were like. Um, so I, I think I saw cracking back on them, cracking back on them, cracking on back on them. But you know, third grade, nigga, you don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say. You know, we got to crack nobody. And 
in third grade. So I just started saying some random ass shit. So I think one of them started tearing up. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's two of y'all against one person. Why the hell is why is you crying? Like, come on, Shotty. So I think um I think when like transition or whatever, uh one of them got my class in transition. I think they they teach had stepped out and whatever that day. I think she was like doing some planning or something like that. So they had class had a can in my class. So I'm sitting chilling or whatever and she's like I think um she was sitting on one side, I was sitting on one side. And then, you know, you got disses, you know, you got the disses and the other, the rest of the, like, the, the, my class and, like, the, the other class, like, was sitting on the floor. So we got disses and then, you know, you got a carpet floor or whatever. So I think teacher was reading a book that day or whatever the case might be. And she, I think I got a word too that somebody had told me that was like, oh, uh, you um uh, you made old girl cry. She gonna call her. She gonna call her brother and feel great and say he gonna come beat you up. And I'm like, where the fuck? So I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I ain't never been in no fight. I don't know what the fuck they do, whatever. So like, I'm I'm tripping. I'm scared. Like you feel me? I ain't crying or nothing. But you know I'm I'm standing on business, standing ten toe down. But it's just like nigga kind of shaky a little bit. So they kind of scared or whatever. So I'm chilling. I'm chilling or whatever. So. I end up um what it was. I end up, you know, that that day go by and whatever and you know, shit was chill, shit was chill. So I think I told my little brother. I think I told my little brother. So when I told my little brother, I end up um when I told him, uh he was like, Oh, nobody ain't gonna beat my brother. Cause like I said, it was two of them. It was two of them. I don't know what a third grader and a first grader do to two fifth graders. But shit, we was gonna make it happen. We was gonna do some. You feel me? We was gonna we was gonna stand ten toes down about some shit. You feel me? Next day of school, me and my little brother walking down the hallway. So we walking down the hallway, and they come behind us. Are you walking? They cracking. They still cracking. But this time they were trying to crack on my little brother. So my little brother had turned around and ready to. You feel me? Get right. He was ready to get right. So I was like, nah, bro, chill, 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 chill. nah, bro. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't worth it, bro. That ain't worth it, bro. He was like, nah, bro. They keep picking on you and shit like that, bro. You, you got to stand up. Like he, ain't, you know, in the sense of form, you know, he telling me this, but you know, he was saying like, you know, you got to stand up for yourself. Man. You can't let folks talk about you, man. Okay, you can't let that go, man. So I'm like, man, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. I drop my little brother off at his class, and I go to my class. So, uh, so they go by, so they go by, you know, now you feel me by like the weekend. So a nigga thinking about it, nigga thinking about it the whole weekend, nigga thinking about it. shit. I might fuck around to fight some field graders, man. I gotta fuck around to fight some field graders. Monday come, soon the money come. I'm on some tight shit. Ready, ready, height, nigga in the mirror, height, nigga. Find my little brother at that point, find my little brother, find pillows, find all that shit. So we just. I'm ready. I'm hype, fam. I'm hella hype. School start. So I get out. I get out of the car. My mom dropping me and my little brother off. I get out of the car. So I'm just shit, on demon time, but I'm on demon time. So eating breakfast, shit like that. And, you know, before the bell rang and stuff like that, everybody else got to come in or whatever. And when you're done eating breakfast, you can, you know, wait in the gym with your class or whatever. So, you know, we went in the gym, went in the gym, went in the gym, and, you know, Boom, the bell rang for everybody to go to class or whatever. I hear him behind me, man. I hear him behind me. Me and my little brother turn around and we just, we just getting into the ass, getting into the ass, fine ass, so roasting the ass, having the ass, you know, woo to woo. Come on, by. And they were like, damn, like they laughing and shit. Like we we just got, we probably got a, I ain't gonna say a big ass pack of kids, but you know, a, a little, you feel me? Just a, a little song, you feel me? We just crack and crack. We going back. We going back. Everybody just going back. Everybody just going back. So I don't know what happened. But like I say, one of them start crying again, bro. We're going to start crying again. I think we got the best of them. And after that, man, it's just like, like, they never bullied me again. They never bullied me again, bro. It was, like I said, they never bullied me again. After that day, bro, we got into it, our, the, the altercation in the hallway, bro. Never got into it again, bro. It was just on some chill shit after that, bro. On some chill, like real deal, chill shit after that.
Morals or if you feel like somebody bullying you or getting the best of you or always picking on you all the time, I don't care if it's elementary school, middle school, high school, growing up, being a grown ass individual, I don't care. Anybody can get bullied at any time. But if you feel like somebody's bullying you at the time of being in school, bro, tell another person, bro. Tell another person, tell the teacher a shit. At that point, stand up for yourself. Because if you hit a motherfucker, you're going to get rolled up. And they ain't going to never bully you again. But you're going to have to take that right up, though. You're going to have to take that ill. But if you continue to let it go on, bro, they're going to go on longer and longer as long as long as they want to. So just stand up for yourself, bro. Always stand up for yourself. And if you're a grown bird and you feel like somebody getting the best of you, cracking on you, talking about you or anything, bro, stand up for yourself, bro. Either crack back on them, bro, or... Shit, throw them hands, you feel me? Two outs, you got two outs, bro. You're going to have to, you're gonna have to crack back, stand on being there, or throw them hands, bro. You feel me? I just gave you three, but shit, one of them going to have to happen, bro. That shit going to continue to keep happening, though, bro. Stand up for yourself, bro. Stand up for yourself. You got to stand up for yourself, bro. But shit, bro. Y'all like, subscribe, share with your dog, bro. Now I catch y'all in another video, man. Peace. Let's get it, man.